Good morning, fourth graders. It's Friday, April 24th, and um, this is the second half of section 9.3 in your book. It's on page 509. Um, in yesterday's video, on Thursday's video, I did the first part of this section. I did all of um, the first page, which is page 507, and then 508, and then I did the first part of 509. So in this section, we're learning how to write equivalent fractions with decimals. So we're only working with tenths and hundredths, so we're not working with any other kind of fraction. Um, but it's more practicing going back and forth between tenths and hundredths um, and the decimals that equivalent the same way. So I'm going to finish up these problems with you. Um, your assignment for today is to do the Google form that popped up in Google Classroom for you today. Um, it says the week of April 20th through 24th on it, so that's what goes with these. Um, and you'll, it'll be problems from the homework pages from this week. There is no zoom today. So, um, you have plenty of time to work on that Google form and get it turned into me as soon as you can. All right, let's go over these ones. Um, so it says, write the number as hundredths in fraction form and decimal form. So make sure you're reading those directions real carefully. I want you to take whatever it gives you, turn it into hundredths. And also make sure it's in fraction and decimal. So you basically have two answers for this one. So I'm going to turn, this one gives me a fraction. I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a hundredths fraction. And I have to think, what times 10 gives me 100? Well, that's times 10. So 10 times 10 is 100, which means I ha whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So 8 times 10 is 80. So that's the fraction form. And to turn this fraction, the hundredths fraction, into a hundredths decimal, I'm going to put a zero for my ones place because I don't have any whole numbers attached to this. It's just a fraction. I have zero and eight tens. So I'm going to put an eight in the tenths place and a zero in the hundredths place. Again, I know that it's 80 hundredths, but you can put 80 inside one place value. You just can't put two numbers inside one spot. So you have to put it in there so that it represents what it's actually showing you. It's showing you 10 groups of eight, or no, sorry, <laughs> eight groups of 10 um, hundredths, which means that that would be eight in the tenths place and a zero in the hundredths place. Number nine is let's see here it's two tenths i'm gonna turn that into hundredths first i always like going to the fraction one first because fractions um, are something we're more familiar with than decimals at this point so i think it's a lot easier to start with the fractions so 10 times 10 is 100 which means i got to do 2 times 10 to get me 20 and to turn that into a decimal zero and because again there's no whole number it's not a mixed number it's just a just a fraction Zero and 20 hundredths is the same thing as two tenths, which is what we started with. So I'm going to put a two in the tenths place and a zero in the hundredths place. Again, 0 0.2 and 0 0.20 are the same thing. They represent the same amount. But because it does want you to write the decimal in hundredth form to the hundredths place, you got to pop that zero in so that you can fulfill the directions. All right, this one they give you it in um, decimal form. So again, I'm gonna start with a fraction and then I'll put it back in the decimal form. But if you wanna start the other way around, you are more than welcome to. So I know the one is in the tenths place. So to represent that as tenths, it's going to be one tenth, because one is in the tenths place. I'm gonna turn that fraction into a hundredths fraction. So 10 times 10 is 100, which means I gotta do one times 10 and I get 10 over 100, which written as a decimal in to the hundredths place is 0 0.10. Okay, this one says the directions say write the number as tenths, not hundredths, so tenths, I'm gonna circle that to remind myself of that, in fraction form and decimal form. So both fraction and decimal, but I gotta put it in tenths. So um, I, told, I taught you a small trick yesterday that when you're going from hundredths to tenths, it only works if you're going from hundredths to tenths. But if you have a number like this where you've got, the number has a zero on the end of it, 
on the top and a zero on the end of it at the bottom, you can cancel those zeros out, which leaves you with six tenths. Now you can double check that by using your multiplication trick. 10 times 10 gives me 100. So six times 10 gives me 60. So those fractions are still equivalent to each other. This is just kind of a quicker way of doing it. But you can also do it like they did it in the book where you divide. So that's fine too. If that trick, you know, you don't want to use that trick, that's fine. Um, but so you just have to use a division. So that would look like, it would look like this. 60 over 100 divided by 10 divided by 10. And that's 6 over 10. So that's, you still get the same thing either way. So it's the fractions is in ten, um, decimal or in fraction form for tenths, which is also 0 and 6 tenths written like that. So I'm not putting the 0 on the end. Again, if I did put the 0 on the end, it would still equal the same amount, but it's not written to the tenths place. So I'm not leaving the 0 on in this case because I just need the tenths place because that's what my directions say. So I got 90 over 100. Again, I'm going to reduce that down. And that becomes 9 tenths. Or you can divide. If you divide 100 by 10, you're going to get 10. If you divide 90 by 10, you're going to get 9. So either way it works. And written as a decimal, that is 0 and 9 tenths. All right. I'm going to turn this into a fraction first. So this is actually in to the hundredths place. Even though there's nothing in the hundredths place, the decimal is written as in the hundredths place. So that would be 70 over 100. Yeah, it turns tenths, so I can reduce it down. So that's 7 over 10, which equals the same thing as 0 and 7 tenths. Again, this equals this, which equals this, which equals this. All of these would take up the same amount of space if we were to draw in a model. But... Um, they're just written in different forms and to different place values. So like these are both fraction forms. This one's in with tenths and this one's with the hundredths. These are both decimals, but this is to the tenths place and this one's to the hundredth place. So it really just depends on what your directions are asking you for. So be very careful with that. These say write the number as an equivalent mixed number with hundredths. So this one does the same thing as, um, these guys up here, except for it's a mixed number, but you know how to incorporate mixed numbers into decimals. So let's see here as an equivalent mixed number with hundredths. Okay. So this one, actually, you don't even have to turn these into decimals unless you want to, but you don't have to. Uh, so this one, um, I'm going to turn it into, actually, I, I'm going to turn it into an improper fraction first, because I think that's a little bit easier to deal with than using the whole number and the fraction. You can turn these into decimals and then turn them back into fractions if you want to. I'll show you both of those ways. Either one is fine, um, but because it, it says write it as an equivalent mixed number with hundredths, this is a mixed number with tenths. So I have to find a way to turn this into um, something with a hundredth. So like I said, there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, you can turn it into an improper fraction first. So one times, 10 times 1 is 10 with t plus 4 is 14 over 10, um, which equals 140 over 100. Because we multiply by 10, multiply by 10, and turn that back into a mixed number. That's one whole, because 100 goes into 140 one whole time with 40 out of 100 pieces left over. Uh, you could turn that into a decimal if you wanted to. Um, but you can also turn this into just, you go straight from this to this if you really want to. Because 4 tenths takes up the same amount of space as 41 hundredths. So all you have to do is really just change the fraction. So with this one, 3 and 50 tenths, or 3 and 3 and 50 hundredths, sorry equals the same amount of space as 3 and 5 tenths because it's just the same thing reduced. 
So the whole point of this lesson is really just to get you to practice going back and forth between decimal and fraction form um, in both hundredths and tenths. So this is kind of just getting you fluent in both of those directions with those kinds of forms. Same thing with this one. It's um, the whole number doesn't change. And then if you want to go through the whole steps of changing it to an improper fraction, change the improper fraction back into a mixed number because you were using that to get your hundredths, that's fine. But really all you have to do is just change the fraction part. All right, turn your page. Um, I'm not really going to have you worry about these this week because I know that was kind of a lot for your brain to digest this week. There was a lot going on in this stuff. We went into a completely new territory by going in with this whole decimal thing. So um, I just really didn't want to give you too much to think about at one time. So um, that is all for today's lesson. But your assignment for today is on Google Classroom. It should be uploaded by now. And um, it is a couple problems from each of the sections you did this week, including from this page over here, which you should have done yesterday. If you have any questions for me, you can send me a message and I can help you as best as I can. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.